We're back on the Superchargers. And Milt Bergman and the tractor Rambunctious are leading off the action here at the National Championship Tractor Pull. Our current leader, Creed Smith, with a pull of 172 feet, 7 and a quarter inches. What you're looking at is something I'd call a real masterpiece of homegrown ingenuity. Milt Bergman took a 1948 Minneapolis Moline tractor and turned it into a front-engine dragster tractor. And did you see the variety of power plants on that monster machine? There's an Allison aircraft engine and two different sizes is of Oldsmobiles. Oh, <laughs> what he does is he links his engines together through a chain of homemade gear boxes and has had to make his own transmission too. Let's see how well this do-it-yourself special will do here. Well, it's a real contraption, all right. Let's watch him. Now, he's hoping to pull down some really big money. Well, he could finish well here today. He's got a good pull working for him. It's going to be a little short of the leader, though, I think. As he loses power, it's quite evident that he will come up a little shy of a line. But regardless of how short he may have pulled, the fans sure appreciate him. Well, they certainly do, and they're taking a long look at that machine of his rambunctious. All right, here's the distance, 159 feet and one lonely inch. It's quite a bit off the mark of 172 feet, seven and a quarter inches, set by Creed Smith. You know, Dwayne, we didn't mention the fact that the tractor of Milt Bergman is even stranger than you might think by just looking at it. He's got some equipment on it that doesn't appear to belong. Now, you ready for this? The transmission is on the outside and runs upside down and has to be shifted backwards. The differential is upside down as well, and it's set up to run as many as six engines on that chassis if he wants to. Well, he could use a periscope to back it up. Look at here. Well, right now, out of the six tractors that have pulled, Milt has turned in the third best pull. That's not so bad. All right, from Franklin, Indiana now, here's a real helpful. Greg Jones, the tractor is called Teacher's Pet. As a matter of fact, it's named after his wife's occupation, and it's another twin-engine setup. This one has the goodies, all right. The engines are supercharged and fully injected. It burns alcohol, which, of course, runs cool. Greg has won 24 events in a six-year career in these hot rod modified tractors. Can you imagine plowing your field with one of these? You'd be dead in a hurry, wouldn't you? Sure would. Actually, these machines are, for the most part, designed strictly for professional competition and have never been used for a day's work in the field. They look like they come right off the drag strip since they have that long, lean look of a dragster. Right now, here's Gary Poindexter with Milt Bergman. Milt, undoubtedly a disappointing run, but... Yep. You certainly thrill the fans out there by sitting on the front of this tractor. Thank you, thank you. That's about the only thing I accomplished, though. Well, not only is it different that way, but you're also the only one with three engines here. Yeah, yeah, but they're more or less stock motors. I can go more, more, more motors, but less expensive motors. What went wrong with your run? I just don't have the horsepower that some of these boys do, and I don't have the wheel speed. You got to turn your tires. I just didn't get her. So it wasn't necessarily the track tonight. Coming out of the hole, my big engine backfired. That hurt me a certain amount. That hurt me, that hurt maybe four or five foot at that end because I didn't get the right hole shot. Better luck next time. Thank you. 